Hello and welcome to my C Sharp Basics tutorial series in the context of Godot. In this episode, we will learn how to use loops and also discuss a few more operators. So, before we start, um, let's get a few mathematical operators out of the way. So, when we create an integer, say x, and give it a value of oh, 15, if we now want to do math, maths on this integer, we could say x equals x plus 10 or we can say x plus equals 10 we could say x equals x times now oh, 67 or we could say x times equals times equals 67 we can also say x divided by equals 43 or you can say x minus equals 20. So what if we wanted to increment our variable just by a single number so that x is exactly one number higher. So we could say x equals x plus 1 or x plus equals 1 or our modern program languages allow you to do this x plus plus and and the same thing applies to x minus minus. So here we incremented x by 1 and here we decremented x by 1. Let's try it out. So in x equals 15, x plus plus, and we say dd print and let's print x. And you can see x is 16. While we're at it, uh, let's discuss another thing. Here used, or, in, or more in this case, we used plus as a mathematical operator, as an addition. But you can also use it as a so-called concatenation operator. A concatenation operator works like this. We have a string, call it s, give it the value of hello, and we have a string called w equals world. Equals world. What we can now do is create a string result, and this is s plus w. Now, this plus was not used as an addition, but as a concatenation operator. And our result is combination of S and W in this order. So let's print out. And you can see it print out, hello world. You can now go into this bracket and say, the result is, and use the concatenation operator to append the variable X. We see the result is 17. So, what is a loop? A loop is used to repeat the same part of code multiple times. And there are a few loops that I like to show you today. So for one, we have the while loop. While, two brackets, and we open another scope. Inside of these brackets, we'll put a boolean. As we learned in the last part, we can either create a boolean like this, like this or we can simply say six equals equals six inside of here in the last part we learn what an expression is and we are going to use it right here so what does the while loop do so while this condition is true this code is executed print still true and therefore this part of code would be repeated infinitely but we probably don't want an, an infinite while loop there, of course, use conditions for this. But usually, um, that's not what we want. We pretty much always want a way to terminate the loop. And so now it would be useful to uh, bring another variable into the game. We call it int index. And we give it the value of 0. And now we can say while index is smaller than 10, we do this and we increment our index by one. So what's gonna happen now? Here we created the variable index. And now we do this part of the code as long as index is smaller than 10. At the end of each loop, we increment index by one. And therefore after 10 iterations, the loop is gonna terminate and we can see it printed out still true exactly 10 times so this is a very simple 
use case. Let's take this moment to discuss this operator. I said smaller than. We could also say larger than. So this is going to execute the loop while index is larger than 10. And as index is 0 right here and 0 is not larger than 10, this in a loop is never going to start. We can leave it like that or we can put this while over here and make a do while loop. So now this loop is executed exactly once and then this condition is being checked and if this condition is true the loop is repeated so it's gonna do all of this exactly one more time and also if this condition is false of course there are even more operators it's larger than equals and smaller than equals those are the main operators for comparison and of course logical operators if index smaller equals 10 or this is the operator for or index larger larger equals zero we can also use the and operator this is an and and there's also the not operator so as long as this condition is not true we will execute the loop it is important that the not operator always goes around a boolean expression so for example this or b if you do this you have to of course use your brackets what's also important is that if you for example rated a boolean b in and gave it the value of index smaller than 10 and you insert it in here this this loop is never going to terminate that is because we assign d here once and at this point index was still smaller than 10 so therefore d at this point is true and this is never going to change as this part of line of code is not being executed every time it's just stored in here at exactly this point in time therefore this loop is, is also not going to terminate all right let's get to the last loop that i want to show you today and this is the, called the for loop this is probably the most often used loop. It lets us do exactly what we did with the while loop. It lets us do something exactly x times. Of course, as in simplification, you can do a lot more with it, but this is probably the most widespread use of the for loop. So uh, let's create an integer and call it i for index. We, of course, have to assign the value, and now we will put what we put in our while loop right here after the zero after a semicolon we have to put a condition here and this condition is in this case going to be y smaller than 10 and now we will say what we do in the end of the loop after the loop has iterated once in every time and here we're going to say y and now we can say gd print and then we say loop iteration so let's try it out and you can see it printed out loop iteration exactly 10 times. So let's recap what we learned today. First, we learned a few mathematical operators. How to shorten additions, multiplications and other mathematical operations. We also use, learned how to increment or decrement a variable by one. And we also got to learn the concatenation operator. And then we got to learn how to use loops. We got to learn how to use the while loop. We got to learn how to use the do while loop and we got to learn how to use the for loop and then the next episode we will learn how to use methods and i promise these are very exciting